It's a beautiful January day here at Disney Springs at Walt Disney World and today I'm inviting you guys along to join me for lunch at the Boathouse restaurant, one of the best restaurants in Disney Springs, and it's definitely got the best view. After lunch, we're gonna do something really special and really cool that I've never done before. Spoiler alert, and I'm gonna give you some history and some fun facts about this restaurant and about that situation as we go along, so I hope you're hungry and ready for adventure. Let's go. Boathouse invited me out today to share in this lunch and the special experience we're going to have after lunch, so I wanna thank them so much for inviting me out to do this so that I can share it with all of you. First of all, let me show you my table. It's in the perfect spot. My favorite place to sit is out on the water next to the boats. It's such a cool view and it's so perfect out. When you walk in the main entrance, the oyster bar is the first thing you see and you can see some of the oyster selections. They've got quite a big selection of oysters, all really fresh and delicious that they pick for quality. The Boathouse restaurant is owned by Gibson's Steakhouse, an iconic restaurant in Chicago, and they season everything with this Gibson's seasoning salt. It's known for being incredible and delicious, so we've definitely got that on the table. And here's a little pro tip for you that I don't think a lot of people know, and I didn't know either. All of this dock seating is first come, first serve. You don't need a reservation to sit out here, so, you can just come out here and try your luck when it's open. Also, one of the coolest features are these boats all around the dock, and they all have little placards talking about them, and this is a boat museum. They're all really cool, and they all have their own unique story, so we'll take a look at them a little bit more after we eat. Also, fun fact, this boat museum is owned by the creator and owner of Rainforest Cafe, so it's like, so all connected. All of the boathouse's seafood is brought in fresh daily, and the oysters are shucked fresh, so they recommended that I try the Lucky Ducks Duxbury Bay, grown and harvested exclusively for the boathouse. So we're gonna try one oyster. It says it's medium size, crisp brine, clean finish, and buttery texture. Oh look, an apple car. All right, so here we have one of the Lucky Ducks Duxbury Bay oysters. These are grown and harvested exclusively for boathouse. So we're gonna try it with the sauce here. And you just, and it's got its own little like vinaigrette too. So I only have one to try it. And we're just gonna go ahead and try it. Wow, that is delicious. Okay, I could eat a bunch of those. Do you like oysters? Those are the good ones. You know there's good oysters? And there's just okay oysters? Those are the good oysters. Now I also wanted to point out the Florida Avenue Dockside Lager. This is brewed specifically for Boathouse, and I've got a funny story for you. So the brewery, Florida Avenue, they brew exclusively 16 ounce cans. They bought a 12 ounce can presser just to make this beer for the Boathouse because it is so popular. They sell so much of it here. It's a bestseller, brewed exclusively for Boathouse, and as you can see, the artwork on the can is the Dockside Bar. So that's something really cool and unique. And they've even got the birds, you can hear them. Look how beautiful. The beautiful golden color and a lovely sparkle. Something interesting about sitting on the dock on a windy day like today, I can actually feel the dock swaying, which is kind of cool. I feel like I'm in the Keys or something. I always say that when I'm here because that's what it feels like. It's so good, I've had it before and it's always so good. It's so refreshing and it goes with everything. It's a perfect accompaniment because it's like so light and crisp. Mm. It's one of those beers that's really nice to drink out in the sun on the water like this. It got so windy that I'm gonna go ahead and put a hat on, good thing I brought it. Now I just learned an interesting fact. Their oyster list here at the Boathouse is one of the largest rotating oyster lists in the country. That was the best oyster I think I've ever had, ever. Including like South Florida and the Keys, so good. Now, an appetizer has arrived. I've ordered the Yellowfin Tuna Poke. It looks delicious as an appetizer. I should also mention that I love the music they play here. They play a really cool selection of like fun pop music and also Disney songs every once in a while sprinkled in. Let me take a picture of this beautiful tuna poke. That looks great. Oh my gosh, I've got to say that it feels so good with the wind out here. All right, so this is the tuna and it's got avocado. Let's get some on a chip and let's get into this because it's calling me. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that is so good. This is in a soy lime vinaigrette. And that vinaigrette is so good. It's so, it's like a little bit sweet. Oh, and these chips are so light and crunchy. Oh my gosh, okay, this is super fresh, super good. I kid you not, like you pretty much can't go wrong with tuna poke, but this is so right. My main course has arrived. I devoured the tuna, by the way. This is the Gibson's filet mignon with red skin potato. Very simple, it doesn't need anything extra because it just is what it is so let's try it it's got like a crusted outer layer and then it should be nice and tender on the inside so i normally order medium rare i ordered medium it's got a little bit of pink inside it's very very soft and tender inside with like a crusty outside all right let's try it mm, that is very very juicy it's got its own like steak juice coming out of it Really delicious. Oh, the dock's shaking. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. All right, I ate all my food, and now it's time to look at the desserts. And the orange scented creme brulee and the apple pecan cheesecake are both seasonal items right now. And the key lime pie in a mason jar sounds really good. Anything in a mason jar is always good. See, in between popular songs, they were playing Disney songs and classic Disney songs. This makes me so happy. Every time a Disney song comes on, I get so excited. Oh my goodness. Look at this creme brulee. All right, you know what we have to do with creme brulee, so let's get a good angle here. We have got to break that top layer because that's like half the fun of eating a creme brulee. You hear that? Oh, crunchy. Oh, so satisfying. Mmm, that looks nice. Let's see if it's orange scented. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. I can taste the orange right away. These are cranberries? There's like cranberries. This is the best creme brulee I've had in a long time. I normally don't like cranberries, but these are so good. They're not tart at all. And they're just right with the like whipped cream and the creme brulee. I can taste the orange. It's like this subtle like hint of orange that is so perfectly blended and delicious. Honest to goodness, this is really, really good. If this is on the menu when you're here, I understand this is a seasonal item. Do yourself a favor and get it. Okay, one bite. I am finished with my lunch. That was all so delicious. I've honestly never had anything not delicious at Boathouse. It always comes through. And it was fun to be able to try things I don't normally try and expand my menu tastings a little bit. So that was great. Thank you so much to Boathouse. My server was wonderful. Service is like always great here. So now, now comes the part where I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Something super cool and exciting. I'm a little nervous. Let's go, let's go prepare ourselves and I'll tell you all about it. There's also a really large interior dining room with several rooms with boat nautical theming everywhere and a really cool gift shop. We'll take a little bit more of a look in the gift shop too, I think, later. Boiler alert! How cool is this? That We're keeping that one. Let's do it. All right, we are getting on for our very first Amp a car ride, this is something I've always wanted to do. Look at how cool this is. I already feel cool. Oh yeah, you're this, a star this over This is here. awesome. Oh look, I've got an audience. Yeah, so this handle here we don't want to touch. No touchy the handle. Yeah, if okay. that goes down, that's like a submarine mode. Oh so. no, okay, no touchy. Yeah. Like, I'll actually, I'm not going to touch anything. Yeah, like jackets are back here. So, um, would you like a little bit quicker splash, or would you like? But there's, it might get a little spray from a quicker Let's one. Let's do it. Wanna... Let's do it. The, okay. the whole shebang. Go yeah. big or go home. You know, as they say. Give you the option though. I like it. Don't like to get wet. So, so you get the option here if you want. You know, the the hard splash or the soft splash. But I'm gonna just prepare myself. All right. I think I prepared. <laughs> Get all your fans. Bye! <laughs> oh, you get the big honk! Woo! Oh boy! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm nervous! <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> Look at that. Oh 
sunsets. We've got a gorgeous view. That's how you crash car into the water. So yeah, lesson lesson of the day. So we're it's like we're like so close to the water. Yeah. Like when you see these from outside, it looks like they're going in. Yeah, and the water level's probably about to be right there. Oh. <laughs> Do you know like how many of the, these there are in the world? There's only a few hundred, right? They made about 3,800 of them in the 60s. They say there's about 400 or so left in the world, but only about 150 that work in the water. So. Wow. And how many does this boathouse have? We you know? have eight. Eight? Yep. So there's only eight. So this is like a this is like a special thing. Yep. And they all have a little rubber ducky? Yep. That's, one one. that's really cute. I love that. So this is like, it was like the late 60s, early 70s, right? Yep. When they, they manufactured these. It was supposed to be a big thing. Didn't really work out. Didn't, well. <laughs> didn't take <laughs> off. I don't know why though. This is awesome. Not a very good car, not a very good boat. But. <laughs> it's, it's neither a great car nor a great boat, but it's a great ride. Everybody waves at you all along the dock. Look at how like close to the water, close to the engine you are. Yeah, you got to show off a little bit. <laughs> so this is the same route that Santa and Mrs. Claus were taking, yep. right, during the holidays. So basically, we are Santa Claus now, is what I'm trying to say. It feels really smooth. Yep. Like, it's, I thought it was going to feel like, I don't know, bumpy or scary, but it's like so incredibly smooth, even up Sitting on the dock, the dock was swaying. Yeah. And this I don't feel swaying at all. Wave at them all, say you two fabulous. <laughs> please go off, please go off. That would be cool. But hey, it's still cool. So wherever you're eating also around Disney Springs, you're gonna be seeing the Amphicars going around and they're gonna be waving to you and you're gonna be waving to them and it's kind of just part of the landscape here that we all love. All right, we're so we're asking how fast it goes. Woo! That's a big speed. Hands up, everybody! Woo! <laughs> Look at that wake. <laughs> what is this like? Five miles per hour? Not bad. Right, and then in the slower, it's like two. Yeah, it can get up to about seven. Oh wow! A whole seven. Oh, <laughs> it feels yeah. really. Look at all the wake. So it does look like it's it's like so close to the water, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels really relaxing. So if this is something you were scared of, don't be scared. Because it's nice. This resort over here on the far bank of the lake is Saratoga Springs. I always kind of wondered what resort it was, and now we know. So it seems like then you could probably walk from Saratoga. Oh, hello Seagull. Walk from Saratoga to Springs, huh? Yeah, you can, uh, there's a bridge on the other side. Oh, and you can walk right over. Ah, understandable. But look at look at how wet the hood is. <laughs> normally they have the boats that go around too. Oh, yeah. so is it like it's like Amphicars, Saratoga boats? Yeah. To share the water. Yeah, but they're not out here right now, so it's all us. Yeah, it's all Amphicar. Woo! Get splashed. We get the whole lake to ourselves. This we really do. So only oh two run at a time sometimes. Right now, you're the only one out here. I'm the one. Oh yeah, I see it. It's an osprey. He's not causing trouble on a roller coaster right now, or she actually. Right there. Snowy egrets, yeah, that one's probably a snowy egret, right? Yep. Beautiful. A lot of birdies. We actually have two bald eagles around here right now, but they're pretty hard to find. Oh, that would be amazing to see. They must be like, what, in the pines up trees or just everywhere? I've seen them just flying around right oh now, but, uh, but they're pretty. Yeah. You, like, you don't see them too often, but they're down here for the winter. So we've got ducks, we've got egrets, we've got maybe ibis. Everybody's out. And here's a totally unique view of Disney Springs that you really can't get unless you're out on the Amphicar. It looks like um, the balloon is not 
running today, the aerofile, and that's probably because of the high winds. So that just tells you how windy it is, but still, even though the dock was shaking, it's so windy. This is the smoothest ride. I'm so surprised by how smooth it is. I thought it was gonna be just like, all over the place, you know? Don't let the sound of your own boat car drive you crazy. So over there is the um, Cirque du Soleil building and I heard that that may be returning sometime soon or this year, right? Yeah, so that's good. That House of Blues. We were the first place out here that uh, took them out. Uh, for people to ride on unless people all of them. So it's like, I think, is this the only like commercial Pretty fleet? Much, yeah. Yeah, so this is probably the only place in the world that you can come out as a paying customer to a commercial place and pay for a ride on a classic vintage Amphicar. That's pretty cool. Yeah. A little bit nicer than some of the ducks out there. Yeah. <laughs> so it's another rare view that you don't really get to see the backs of these restaurants and storefronts really because from inside of Disney Springs you see them from the front. And even when you're dining outside you're not getting the view where you're looking at them. So they're all decorated and themed still just for basically the boats, the resort guests, the resort boats anyone who's out here on the water to see them for the theming to blend in. Right there's the landing that we came out from. And there's where we were sitting, right out there. So you do one loop. One good loop. And they do take some photos for you. So we're gonna take a look at those photos. Mm -hmm. Let them know. We have arrived, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So this is the pool part too. Going in and out of the water is cool. Whoa, it's so crazy. <laughs> and now we're in car. <laughs> Look at this, we feel like celebrities here. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> we made it. Once we land, we're on this platform that spins the car around so that way it doesn't have to do like some sort of crazy U-turn here. Get ready for the next one. Let's go again. <laughs> awesome. So you can get the photos that they take of you. Did it scan? Oh yeah, get them added to your my Disney Experience account if you have Photo Pass, and if not, you can purchase the digital photos, and then you could also additionally purchase physical prints. There are some really, really fun pics in here. I can't wait to see them all in my account. Here are the prices for the photo package, packages that you can purchase, and then you can also purchase these customized engraved paddles to commemorate your voyage. That's so cool. And those rubber duckies you can see inside of the Amphicars, you can even buy your own and they're all funny puns, see? Tasting away in Margaritaville, aviary grande. <laughs> if I could turn quack time. These are funny. A hunger game bird. <laughs> oh, those are good. And then just the classics. So this is the one we wrote in, the sort of creamy blue. There are so many of them and they're all so funny and cute. Talking about the collection of cars and Steven Schusler, who designed and owns Rainforest Cafe, they also sell a book about his life here and he is quite an interesting person. This is something I would actually want to read. I'm very curious. So I was wondering, yeah, T-Rex Cafe too and Yak and Yeti. I'm gonna look into this because I'd like to know more of his story. Very interesting character, and he's in an Amphicar. That was awesome. What a cool experience. The boathouse is just so good on its own, and doing an Amphicar just takes it up a notch. Oh yeah, and I got some prints. So thank you so much, boathouse. Whoa, what is that thing? I didn't get to ride that. Is that like a tow, like a tow car for them? Boathouse is an award-winning restaurant. It consistently tops the list of best restaurants in Orlando, best restaurants at Walt Disney World, among the best anywhere in the area. And USA Today has listed it in the top 10, number one in their top 10 list. It's just like 
anywhere you look when you look up any sort of like ranking system of restaurants here in Orlando and here at Walt Disney World, it's gonna come up in the top. It can hold hundreds of diners. It's got tons of dining space indoors and outdoors. I like the outdoor seating because I like sitting on the water. But in the summer when it gets brutally hot, I'm sitting indoors in the AC. But on a day like today when it's like in the 60s, it's perfect and gorgeous, outdoors was wonderful. Now that we've had our Amphicar ride, I want to take a little bit more of a look at some of the boats here. They've got some of the heaters out. Some are on, some are not because it's nice and cool out. It's not cold by any means but it feels really nice. I'm gonna show you the dockside bar out here. I love sitting here at the dockside bar. I love when they have seasonal food and drinks. Oh, more heaters are out. That means it's gonna be cold tonight. So you can sit up here at the bar or at the tables over here. There's so many cool specimens. So this one says it's the Cadillac Sea Lark. April 1956, Popular Science Magazine declared that the $11,000 Cadillac Sea Lark was the most expensive outboard fiberglass runabout ever built. They've all got a cool little story and they look so neat. Also, what I said earlier about open seating here, remember that means one tables aren't reserved. They have a reserved like thing on them, don't sit there, but any table that's open you can sit at. I particularly wanted to look at the Super Air Nautique GS20 because look it's got this custom boathouse logo on the front that's really pretty and it's glittery blue they do call this a boat museum these are floating artworks this one's called God's time and it's got an interesting story the dream boat of the year only 150 ever built with a hard top design removable gullwing tops so they're fashioned after the Gullwing Mercedes-Benz. The owner actually got in a huge accident and they didn't know if he would survive or not. And he ended up surviving after a very near miss. So he called this boat God's time because he says he's been living on God's time ever since. That's a man that's grateful to be alive. Cool story. They all kind of have that classic car look. They look so cool. Whoa, look at this one, it's called Pinky. This sign says, this vehicle is powered by a rare Flying Scott outboard. 1957 Herders Flying Fish Deluxe. One of the premier early hunting and fishing catalog houses in the US, Herders couldn't resist American sportsmen's interest in the growing fiberglass boat market. They private labeled their own boats in the mid 1950s and they were one of them to be beautiful, stylish icons. It features a pink gel coat and the 50s fins. You could have a lot of fun walking around the boat museum and looking at all the boats, reading the information about them, especially if you are a boating enthusiast. And here in Florida, it's a really big hobby, a really big thing. So I think it's worth at least reading a few of them while you're here. And when you sit inside some of the booths, you're sitting like in a little boat. There's also an outdoor bar where you can get grab and go drinks. You can get beer, wine, cocktails various drinks and let's see do they sell the actual yep they sell the dockside lager out here too so if you just want to grab that you totally can an hour or two has elapsed since i was last standing in this spot i've been enjoying the day turning into evening here at disney springs the wind is also chilled out a little bit so the aerophile balloon is finally flying after a wonderful lunch and a wonderful adventure doing something so cool and then a lovely afternoon here at Disney Springs, it's about time to wrap up and go home, but not before watching the aerophile fly above Disney Springs one more time. That hot air balloon and the amphicars are two of the most distinctive features of Disney Springs. You can see them from all over the springs. They stand out so much, they're so beautiful and you can't help but admire them and take photos. And now I've done both of them. And I'll do them again, they're both great. I want to thank Boathouse once again for inviting me out today and allowing me to try more of their menu and to do the Amphicar ride. Such a unique, cool, and fun thing. I'll put a link in the description if you want more information about booking dining at Boathouse or booking the Amphicar ride or anything like that. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I'm happy to answer them as well.
Boop. Thank you all so much for joining me for all of these fun adventures. There's a lot of fun coming up as always, so make sure you stay tuned. And if you're new, please subscribe to join the fun. I'm sending you all a ton of love. Thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay high and dry and stay enthused. Bye.